Why did this rapper knock the crap out of his fan? And why did Blueface beat up his own son's babysitter? You at the studio, right? I'm like, yeah, hey, what's up? She like, Blueface? Blueface Did Offset and Cardi B broke up? And why did Offset reject Kaisinet's offer to join his live stream? Offset was scheduled to come in today. It pulled out last minute. So watch the video till the end to find out. So first up, we have DJ Academics ranting about Megan Thee Stallion during one of his Rumble live stream. A lot of what people in the industry have said about you, Meg. When you first came in the game, you was an alcoholic. I don't know what your lifestyle is at currently these days but she was an alcoholic you was a woman who used to drink blackout get drunk fuck whoever and then used to be very belligerent and used to be very aggressive that was the word on you people didn't enjoy your presence they enjoyed fucking you but after they fucked you the first time they would just tell their other homie it's easy to fuck her they weren't trying to hang around that was the word on the street i'm telling you these things you might not want to believe me but this is how the niggas talked about you you have to also think about it. Why was whoever who wiped you was the only first person to wipe you? You know why the other people in the industry was talking like, yo, yo. Even like, I can't speak for Tori. Me and Tori never had these conversations. But let's let's ask this question. Tori was fucking with you heavy. He rocked with you. Why Tori never wiped you? You know why Tori never wiped you? Because Tori don't want to look like a clown. Everybody else done told Tori he hit. Everybody told Tori they smashed. Tori's like, I bet I'm gonna get my turn off. I'm gonna do my thing, but I ain't trying to be attached to you. I ain't trying to get clowned out. You know how that is, chat. Shorty done fucked everybody, but she's still in, interested in relationships. Here's the crazy thing that women like her say. Oh yeah, I love to fuck this and third. They love bragging over the fact that they love fucking random people, but they want relationships. Which guy wanna be in a relationship with you when you're fucking random people? So do you just like fucking random people? And if you do like fucking random people, do your thing. But ain't nobody gonna wipe you up. So that's why Tori was just knocking the brakes. So let's put let's put that story back in perspective. Tori knew you was a hoe. Tori was fucking you. By the way, Tori felt you was easy pussy. Let, I'm, I'm not speaking to Tori. I'm speaking on everything I've heard about that situation. You was easy pussy. You was flying to him. He never had to do nothing. He never had to inconvenience himself. He ain't had to do like you left your team, flew on a private jet without security anybody to see him you're paying tens of thousands to go see him to get piped out at his spot you're doing photo shoot not photo shoot but taking selfies his spot he's getting free pussy he's chilling he don't care is he trying to wife fuck no why he done heard 15 other rappers allegedly hit that allegedly well let's keep it going so now when you wonder why the situation go left you a bop you thinking you like you see women like you y'all be y'all talk out both sides of your mouth that's the city girls the, that's the city girls fallacy you all about a bag but you want respect bitch what do you want because if you get the bag you ain't getting the respect if you want the respect a lot of times that might not be the bag or you might it, women don't get that so now tori already thinking you a bop you a bop Five other rapper nigga hit. Niggas done cop dome from you in bathrooms, all type of shit. Like, you a, you a thot. Like, that's just what's popping. That, that's the word of this case. Okay. Let's so next up, we have Offset stating his reason why he rejected the offer of one of the top streamer in the world right now. So those of you who don't know, a few months back, Kai Sinat did a seven-day prison live stream where Offset was scheduled to join. But in the last minute, Offset ditched Kai. Offset was scheduled to come in today. It pulled out last minute. They told me they was gonna do it today. Pulled out last minute. Now! Damn, set. And now, Offset revealed why he didn't want it to join that live stream. I didn't do the jail thing, I'm gonna tell y'all. Yeah, a lot of people thought it was because of the how he judged the album. I didn't do the jail thing because I really had to think about it. Like, I really come from that. And it's like really bros and homies struggling with that. It's not really a game, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's 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 a serious thing. And like, I understand content. I just I salute it, yeah. but I, I just couldn't be a part of that content. Cause you y'all remember, I come from jail, and I yeah. remember sitting in the like down bad, like no money on the books, and like trying to. I know how it feel. It ain't no, it ain't the right feeling. I got real homies that I can't get right. out ever. You know what I mean? So I ain't want to make a mockery of them, and they cause. My world and his world different, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So I got some real shit that go on in mine and like, 
I didn't want to have to answer the bros. Like, man, what's up? Even when the clip came out, the bros like, hey, what you what you got going on? Yeah. Because it's like a serious thing. Did you Not try to shooting tell his him down. Though? Though. Did you try to tell him, like, I don't, don't know if this it. is a good idea. Nah, you because, ain't nothing to mess with. Nah, because I know what his heart was for the situation. He okay. ain't trying to be like, it ain't that serious to him. And he's a kid, he's young, like he's a younger kid, you know what I mean? Like, he really is a is a content creator. He he his his mm-hmm. later on what he want to do is like movies and like vibes like that because he take dialogue and take all that seriously. So I know his move wasn't to like be funny about it. He was just like giving his fan base entertainment. You know what I mean? Right. For sure. So next up we have Cardi B revealing her relationship status with Offset. Don't put me none of that. I don't know if y'all been getting clues from me for my live. I mean I don't know if you guys been getting clues from me for my lives or for my stories when I put some certain music of my own following. When it comes for today's events and stuff, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's true. I don't care to find out because I, I've been single for a minute now, but I have been afraid to like, I'm not afraid, I just don't know how like to tell the world. But I feel like today has been like a sign. Like I've been, the last time I got on live, I kind of wanted you guys to tell you, I kind of wanted to tell you guys, but I didn't know how to tell you. So I was like, I changed my mind, but it has been like this for a minute now. And I just, I just think that's a sign. So, I wanna, I wanna start 2024 like fresh, open. I don't know. I'm curious for a new, for a new life, for a new beginning. Next up, we have Krishan Rock claiming that Blueface beat up her female friend, who she put up in charge to take care of her newborn baby. I'm at the studio. Um, it don't matter who I was with, nigga. And I'm trying to lay this record down. My BD's calling me, calling me, calling me. I'm like, what is he calling me for? So I don't answer for him. So then I finally picked the fuck up. This nigga is with Marge. And look, I'm with Jaden Alexis. So everything I say right now is no cap. Say hi, Jaden. I'm oh, pretty sure she better say hi because he's driving me to this maniac right now. So look. So long story short, bro. So I'm like, let me tell y'all, bro. So I'm like, Marge, what's up? She's like, Sean. You at the studio, right? I'm like, hey, what's up? She like, Blueface, Blueface just trying to take the baby. He's taking the baby. I said, bro, if you leave my baby, it's your ass. She like, all right, bet. I'm not going to leave the baby. I'm not going to do nothing. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm like on my wife. Like, what? Like, I stay in a cool environment. I have a five-bedroom house. I have my nieces and nephews. Long story short, I have to go make this record. So I left my baby with my family at the house. So Blue trying to pick me. Blue trying to get to me, and I'm like, I don't really want to be with you right now. I really want to be in the studio. So what's going on? So he's saying, threatening, he been, you know, he been eating good. He the same nigga that posted my son yet. So I'm trying to figure out what's the correlation. And you about to take my baby? What's going on? So I never knew, like, he was coming to take my baby out of his sleep because I'm hanging out with my friends at a studio session, making music, but it was my new nigga Suave. So, but I didn't bring the baby around. Let's go with my family to watch till I get back home from the studio. Long story short, Blueface beat me to my house before I even can get to my son. Try to take my son. Marsh ain't leaving his son. Marsh is stuck in the motherfucking car. Marsh like, I'm in this shit with you. What? Because this bitch on the phone said this is her baby. So I'm finna die for a baby, go lock, get locked up for a baby to set Blueface. So, so then I'm like, he got the baby. He get a car accident with the baby. It's just some weird shit going on. So I'm like, Marsh, take the baby. So boom, long story short, he about to send out Marsh at the house and tell him Jaden to fight Marsh. Marsh like, Sean, Jaden finna fight me. I said, what you She's like, Kashan, he about to go, we about to go to his house and he finna dick take everything. I said, bro, before you get to that gate, take the baby. Well, I need four minutes to get to But I don't want no problem. I don't even know why this baby, this nigga came and kidnapped my baby from the house. Like, I'm not keeping you from your child. My story short, boom. So Jaden was standing by to really like smash on Marsh while they at the gate. I'm like, fuck all that shit. You know, before my baby even make it to that turmoil, I'm finna pull up. So while Marsh stalling for me, getting her ass beat by blue face. That thing made that recording, he trashed me. Cause I can show you Marsh face, you gotta sit there and go off the air face, ha. So, they like, all right, cool. Yeah, all right, cool. All right, <laughs> all right, cool. Marsh stall it just enough. I pull up. Marsh and, Marsh and Blue fighting. Next up, we have Nardovic allegedly knocked a fan out on the street. So, a video has surfaced of a fan going up to a group of men who are alleged to be Nardovic's entourage, and two men from that group are seen beating this fan till he collapsed on the ground. Although the police report doesn't mention Nardovic, but eyewitnesses definitely points toward him. For more shocking and funny videos from the world of hip hop, check these videos out.